What's up YouTube? My name is Alex and this is my fish room. So guess what? Another Koridoras video. I will show you what I got and uh, talk about it later. So finally I got some stack by. Here are 14 uh, Koridoras stack by. They are not that uh, uh, matured. They still have uh, a lot of uh, growth to do. But they look nice. So 14 Koridoras. So the stack by Coris are going into this tank with the Montezumas and the L66 Hypensistrus. We have uh, five Hypensistrus and some uh, babies. There was one there. I think there are uh, six or five babies of uh, L66. So I've put the bag in to temperature uh, acclimatize them to this water. The next Corridoras are the Juliai Corridoras. There are eight of these. Very young. But they look uh, also very nice. These ones I will put uh, into this tank that has some veiled um, ancestors some Tilomelania, Toutensis and uh, some Guppies. It's not a big tank. As you can see, it's around uh, 30 or 40 liters, but for the for their size it's uh, plenty. Plenty of, uh, of room. You can see them now better. They are uh, also temperature acclimatizing to to the tank. These are the guppies. We also got eight of the orange Venezuelan corridoras, which are going uh, to the tank uh, next to them. That one has some uh, lemon blue eye and sisters and uh, a lot of uh, corridoras fry. You can kind of see them better, but uh, they are very stressed out. So the orange won't show as much as uh, their chuku colors. So eight of the orange Venezuelan corridoras. Next we have some uh, veiled, some long fin uh, pandas and uh, a pretty albino sort of female there, which is going into another tank. But I think there are uh, three long fin panda corys and one normal. I think this, uh, no, this is still the long fin one. So I think all four of them have the long fin, but one of them has slightly shorter uh, caudal fin. I think you can see them better now. This tank has a lot of... Uh, Swartail fry and a pair of calico bristle nose. The male has eggs there. And there is the female. The female is long fin and the male is short fin. I will take the, the swartail female out and put it into another tank though. So only the corridoras are going into this tank. I think you can see some of them in the back. So, some of the corridoras that are already in the, into the tank. There are six of the pandas that are in the tank now. And as a side note, we have some more sword tails, a pair of uh, pineapple wag and some uh, marble painted uh, sword tails. I will separate the females and the males and uh, they will go into separate tanks. And last, uh, this is the final bag which has three Toutensis Tilomelania snails. You can see that one is uh, coming out of the shell. I had more of these snails I lost all of them except one due to 
Planaria, I think. And now I'm trying it again into another tank that has uh, the normal Tilomelania, the, the rabbit snails, which uh, are doing better in this tank. Still not a lot of babies. You can see that uh, there are some in the back. A little one here. But yeah, hopefully they will do better in this tank and uh, see a lot of fry from them, a lot of babies. I, ki I kinda like the Tortensis snail better than the normal orange, yellow or uh, grey Tilomelania. But these unfortunately are not that active, so maybe these ones will be better. As I said, that one has the tail a bit shorter, but maybe it's a cross between a long fin and a short fin. This ones, these three are definitely long fin panda quarries. Here are the snails doing their thing. I will start uh, pour some tank water into the container to acclimatize them. Here are the stack boys doing well. 14 of them Here are the Julie Corridoras A bit small but they will grow And uh, here are the orange Venezuelan Corridoras We are not going to look at the sword tails anymore because I've already moved them to three uh, separate uh, Thanks. Some of the females are uh, going to breed with some of the king uh, red swordtails to hopefully get some king that uh, are looking like those marbles or uh, maybe that pineapple uh, albino or pineapple wag uh, swordtail. That will be nice, but we'll see in the future. So the focus for the rest of the video will still be the corridoras. So currently pouring water into each container, little by little. Okay guys, so the snails and the corridoras are well acclimatized, I think. I will um, put them into their own tank uh, off camera because I don't want to stress them out while filming and uh, trying to scoop them out. I will show you after I've put them into the tank and uh, see how they do. Okay guys, so here we are. We have a long fin one, actually two, in the, in the shot now. That uh, seems to be the normal one. And uh, two more here. 
so by my count so by my count there should be 10 of the panda corys in this tank that has a bunch of sorted fry and as I said uh, a pair of uh, and some fry of them a pair of uh, calico bristles you can see one long fin baby in the tank there in the background so yeah so the panda corys seem to do well on to the next one here is the L66 and the Montezuma Swordtail tank so these are uh, species of uh, wild Swordtail and as I said uh, 5 matured L66 there are 6 fry I think in the tank but of course I can see none the quarries are doing well the tank uh, is around 28 degrees celsius so that is kind of the temperature they would uh, support max I think hopefully I won't have losses so the next tank is the one with the Julia Corridoras which are most of them here very nice Corridoras this one doesn't seem to have the black patch on the dorsal fin so hopefully they are the same species And uh, in this tank, we can only see one of the orange Venezuelan Corridoras. I don't know where are uh, the rest of them. Maybe in the back. So the rest of the Corries are in the back. I can only see one now and a couple more in the back, but it's not a clear picture. Here we have the stairbys again because they are looking extra nice. They are a bit uh, scattered, but soon hopefully they will school. And uh, lastly, we have the Toutensis snails, which uh, are already on the move. Two of them here. And one of them I've placed it here because I didn't saw the other two and uh, I was trying to video them. So that's it for today's video as well. So we added uh, some uh, long fin panda corys, some juliai, uh, the orange Venezuelan corridoras, and uh, stag bites. Three panda that are long fin, one that seems to be short fin, uh, eight of the juliai, eight of the orange Venezuela, and uh, 14 of the stag bites. So the step by step plan for the corridoras uh, didn't go as I planned it. We already have the Pelietes or the Pepper Curry. We had before the starting this uh, journey the Black Venezuelan Corridoras or the Black Schulzai. Um, we have two new species that I still have to edit the video on. Um, they are uh, in the fish room for around uh, a month up until now, I think, or a couple of weeks, uh, three or four weeks. We have the skunk or the Aquatus Corridoras. We have the Juliai, the Orange Venezuelan, the Stagbys, and uh, that seems to be it for now. Oh, and I forgot the pandas. In the next few days, I will receive a package with uh, two new lines of uh, guppies and uh, again two new species of Corridoras. 
that uh, we don't have um, in the fish room yet I assume I will uh, film and post the video maybe next week hopefully if uh, all things uh, go well so as I said that's it for today's video I hope uh, you liked it if you like the video don't forget to thumbs it up subscribe to the channel and push the notification button to be notified when I post next my name is Alex and until next time peace out guys